Here is a surefire way on how you can ruin your life for good. I remember there was a time when I was 18. I was driving home from work and it felt like my life was flying by. I felt like I was stuck in such a routine and I had nothing exciting going on and everywhere I looked I saw other people living the life I wanted to live. Yet here I was stuck. You, just like I was, are wasting your life. Reason number one, not having a purpose in your life or something you're working towards. People as individuals need to have something they are doing and getting closer towards. Otherwise, you are going to feel so stuck and it's such a depressing cycle. We psychologically need to have something that we are pushing towards and working Working towards the move forward and become better as a society and an individual. If you don't have something like that that you're working towards, you are going to feel very pointless in life, which is depressing. You don't have something when you wake up like, okay, I need to work on this today. So you need to have something in life that you're working towards. And if you don't, you're wasting your life, whether that's working out a new business you want to do, or even just building new relationships with friends and family, whatever it may be, have something every single day that you're working towards to become 1% better. Reason number two, not surrounding yourself with people who have similar goals to yourself. I'm sure at this point in our life, we've all heard that you are an average of the five people you spend the most time around. And that is completely true, whether it's the way they talk, the way they carry themselves, or just the views they have on the world itself. The people you spend the most time around are going to rub off on you whether you like it or not. So you need to be very particular on who you are allowing to spend time with you. But this doesn't just happen with the people you spend the most time with in your daily life. It's also been shown to have effect with the top five influencers you watch the most on social media. If you're watching people who are doing stuff you don't want to do or promoting partying or whatever it is or whatever habit you're trying to break, you're likely not going to break that habit or you're going to turn more into that person just because watching someone on social media is a very personal experience. You're going to know a lot about them. You're spending a lot of time with that person. Even though it might not be directly, you're spending a lot of your life learning from this person. So you need to be very particular on who you're watching on social media too. And I'm not saying don't watch any content whatsoever. Still watch content that you enjoy, but just be very particular and have a good method of choosing and figuring out what that person is actually like in their daily lives and if it's someone that you want to be more like. Reason number three, saying yes to absolutely everything. Now, this is something I fall victim to very often and I'm just now kind of starting to realize it a little bit more, but every time that you say yes to something, whether it's work, whether it's family members, whether it's friends, anything like that, anytime you say yes to something, you are saying no to something else. So why do we do this? This is something called people pleasing. And honestly, it's still something I'm trying to figure out because it's very difficult. Everyone promotes being super nice and everything like that, but no one talks about the downsides of saying yes to everything. You need to be able to pick and choose what you say yes to. Let's say, for example, you're at work and your boss asks you to do an extra project before leaving work. If you say yes to doing that, which sure, be an overachiever, but you have to realize the repercussions that are going to come by saying yes to that because that's going to hold you at work longer, making it so you don't get to come home and see your family, who you probably care about a whole lot more, it's going to delay that time and you're not going to see them as fast. Saying yes to something means you're saying no to something else. So be very particular on what you say yes to and agree to do. Realize what the repercussion of that is going to be. Reason number four, comparing yourself to others. Comparing is the thief of happiness. You're always going to want something that you do not have. You're going to look at anyone's life. You might be looking at my life and being like, oh, he's got this. I wish I had that. He's so lucky to have this. I guarantee if I went back and looked at your life and I had a view into your life, I would have something like, oh shoot, I really like that. I wish I had that in my life. No matter what, you're always going to want something that you do not have or have some sort of change you want to make in your life because you're watching other people. So you need to be happy with what you have. Even these people you've seen on social media who their lives look perfect, they're not. They have stuff every single day where they're like, oh my gosh, I have to do this or they have these little problems that they don't show you on social media. Nobody's life is perfect, not a single person. So be happy with what you have, embrace the problems you have, and just be grateful for the things that you have in your life. Reason number five, not thinking for yourself. Now this is something a lot of people fall victim to because of social media. Once again, you have so much information coming in to you from social media. So many different people, so many different viewpoints, so many different mindsets, and they just take in all of that information and jumble it into their head. But since we have so many different people from all across the world giving us information who all have different goals in life and different places where they want to be, we need to be able to decipher what information we actually want to bring in and keep in our minds and something we're going to be using going forward in life. So you, I kind of think of this as like a, what's that called? Like a, a strainer. You need to strain out the information you want to keep into your brain and the stuff you don't. The main reason uh, or the main way 
I actually can see doing this um, and the way I've done it is you just need to have a very strong foundation of your mindset. You need to know your baselines. You need to know your morals. You need to know these type of things that you want to do to accomplish what you need to do. You need to have all of these different things. That way you can siphon through all of the information coming in and only take in the information that is conductive to getting you to where you want to be in the future. That's all that matters. Reason number six, you are giving up too easy. Everything in life, very, very difficult and takes a lot of time to make work, whether that's the gym, whether that's your work, getting that to where you want to be, starting a new business, maybe you're a musician, getting that off the ground. Uh, maybe it's new relationships, maybe it's a girlfriend, maybe it's building stronger relationships with your family or friends. All of these things are very, very difficult and take a whole lot of time, probably 10 times longer than you are expecting in your mind. But just because something is hard doesn't mean that it is time to quit. It is okay for things to be hard and I want you to embrace the hard. Just like everyone says, embrace the journey, it's very true. Because if you're only looking for the destination and will only allow yourself to be happy once you have obtained that, which spoiler alert, you're never going to feel like you have obtained that thing to allow yourself to be happy, then you are never going to be happy. You need to be able to embrace the journey and continue going even though it's going to get hard. You need to know it's going to be hard. Working out and gaining muscle or losing weight, it's going to be hard, but you need to have the mindset to keep going no matter how hard it gets because you're aware of it. You know that it's going to be hard and you're going to embrace the hard because you know what they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Reason number seven, and this is more for the younger people out there, it's prioritizing the wrong things. So social media, <laughs> once again, is our main conflict here. It's very common that we are looking at other people's lives. These people who are very young and successful, they have all this money, they have these cool cars, whatever it may be. They're very young and successful. So that makes you go out and find a job that's gonna pay you the most amount possible for that time in your life. Even if it's not something you enjoy, maybe it's not something you wanna do, so on and so forth. My biggest thing I would recommend to you, if you take nothing else from the video, I want you to take this away. When you are young, do not worry about how much money you are making. What you need to do is you need to work on yourself, find fun experiences that you can enjoy because this is the time in our lives where we need to enjoy experiences. I don't want you sitting behind a computer working 24 hours a day. Trust me, it's not very fun. Go out, do things, go to carnivals, do whatever you need to do that is fun to you, go on hikes. Enjoy your life at this time because this is when you probably have the most freedom. Find that balance in working and that freedom. Don't just go find a job where you're making the most amount of money working 80 hours a week and you absolutely hate your life just so you can make a little bit more money. It's not worth it. Work on yourself, build up a good foundation in your life, learn, become a better human overall, that way later on in life in a few years down the line your earning potential is going to be so much higher and you're going to be living the life you want to live simultaneously reason number eight getting stuck in analysis paralysis i think we all know what analysis paralysis is at this point it's where let's say you have a new business you want to start, but everything just got to be absolutely perfect in order for it to work. Or you have a YouTube channel and you want to make sure you have the best camera equipment and you need your channel fully set up, fully optimized so that nothing goes wrong. Something's going to go wrong. I absolutely guarantee it. No matter how much planning and preparation you do, something is going to go wrong. So just make the jump. Book the trip. Start that YouTube channel you've been wanting to start. Ask that girl out on a date. No matter what it is, just do it. Getting stuck in analysis paralysis is going to make it so much worse and you're never going to get to where you want to be. Now is the best time in your life to do it. No matter what it is, now is the time. The earlier on you can start, the more you learn and the better you will be going in to the next time you do that activity. Soon you're going to have a family and responsibilities and things that make it so you can't be a little bit more risky and just drop everything and go on a trip or start that YouTube channel where you're putting all of your time into it because you have to work your nine to five so you can provide for your family. Now is the time to do it. Worst case, you go back to that life that you would have been in anyways if you were stuck in analysis paralysis that entire time. Reason number nine, being scared of failing. Failing is a very scary thing um, for many reasons, obviously. You have the external pressures of the people around you, and then you have the internal pressures of yourself, which is what I fall victim to a lot. But failing isn't a bad thing because every single time that you fail, you are going to learn something from it. Every single time, no matter what it is, if you go up to a girl and ask for a number, she rejects you. No matter what, you're gonna learn something. Maybe you'll be like, oh, you know what? I approached her a little bit nervous. I'd be scared of myself too. Whatever it may be. Maybe you started a YouTube channel, you posted your first video, and you're like, oh, that quality wasn't good at all. No wonder no one watched it. No matter what it is, every time you fail, you will learn something. So just do it. Because no matter what, there's gonna be a lesson that you learn 
learn that will help you in the future. Life is too short to not fail. And reason number 10, the grand finale and the most important one, in my opinion, kind of the one that has been tied into all of these different points, not living now. So what do I mean by this? Not living now to me is living in the past or the future, thinking about the things you did in the past that you're like, oh, that was embarrassing, I shouldn't have done that, or living in the future like, oh, I can't wait till I have a girlfriend or I can't wait till I have a family or I'm making this amount of money or I have a successful YouTube channel, whatever it may be. You are tying your happiness to these acts in both both the past and the future, meaning that you will not allow yourself to be happy until those activities happen, which are probably not going to happen, at least not for a long time. And when they do happen, you're probably not gonna be happy because there's gonna be a new goal that you set for yourself that you'll get there before you're happy. This has been shown time and time again with so many successful people. You'll set a goal for yourself, like, okay, I wanna make this amount of money. Once I make this amount of money, I'll be, I'll be so happy. I don't need anything else in life. This is all I need. You get to that amount of money and they're like, oh, this isn't as much money as I thought. I need to start doing this. Oh, I need this amount of money. Oh, but I'm still single. You cannot always be tying your happiness to goals you have in the future. This goes along with enjoying the journey. You need to be able to realize that the time you are at in your life now is so extremely precious. I want you to think back on some of these times where you were, let's say in seventh grade and you had all these stressors in life and you're like, oh my, I can't wait till I'm older and I can drive. Nothing will be a problem then. Here you are, you can drive guess what? You still have a million different problems. And I almost guarantee you're looking back on your seventh grade self, thinking about all the good times you had back then. Like, oh my, those were the good old days. I wish I could go back to that. You're going to get stuck in this cycle for the rest of your life if you do not make a change about it. You need to be able to take your consciousness to the present. Enjoy the things you have going on right now. Like it's a beautiful day outside right now. It's warm. It's summertime. Sure, there might be things I have to do, but then what? There's stuff I'm going to have to do for the rest of my life. I need to be able to bring my myself to the now. All right, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. If you got any questions, I love helping all of you out. Um, DM me on Instagram. I'll put it right here. Give me a follow while you're there. Um, I hope you guys learned at least one thing in your life. And if you take nothing away from this video, just remember, live in the now. I'll see you all in next week's video. We got a banger next week. You're going to enjoy it. Peace. <laughs>